It's the end of 2023 and bearing unforeseen consequences, we'll make it into 2024 in no time. Let's look back at 2023 and see some of the most fascinating developments in robotics. I made this ranking of robots for you in five different categories. And, you know, despite I did very extensive research, rankings are subjective. I know some of you will disagree and I welcome you to the comment section. Seriously though, if you think I missed something huge, let me know. I'll just make another video about that. For God knows which year in a row, Atlas is the most agile robot. For the full body mobility, not a single robot is even close to it yet. And in the beginning of this year, they added more upper body actuator manipulation to it. Uh, English please? It now can use its arms for moving stuff. But enough of Atlas. Look at these guys playing soccer. I read an article where someone saw how they flapped their arms and was like, ha ha ha, this is not Boston Dynamics. But I think this is besides the point. Just like Atlas, in Atlas Gets a Grip video, these guys are actually doing useful stuff while moving. Their kicks are very much spot on. And this is an actual game where robots show high level planning skills. An honorable mention in this category goes to Unitree A1, and not even one, but two papers about extreme parkour and robotics. It just looks cool and it's open source. After unveiling ChatGPT at the end of last year, the idea of taking transformer model and then throwing a shit ton of compute at the gooey pile of unstructured data suddenly seemed like a totally reasonable thing to try in robotics. Google's RT2 Vision Language Action Model does exactly that. They take a vision language model and turn it into vision language action model by representing robot actions as language, as text strings, as you can see right here. Does it look uber impressive now? No, but the language model used for it was a pretty small palm 55 billion parameters. And if bitter lesson is applicable to robotics, then this is the way and we will see a lot more successful models of this type in near future. Okay, these robots are fancy, but what about the ones that are actually already in the field doing stuff and impacting people and the planet. This is exactly what the next two categories are about. I was really torn on this one. In the end, I decided to award this category to, ironically, the effort of the company to eliminate as many humans from it as possible. Of course, I'm talking about Amazon. Amazon has been automating its warehouses for a long time now, but there were quite a few jobs that, for better or worse, had to be done by organic meat bag. This year in October, Agility Robotics started testing its digit robot in Amazon warehouses for tasks like tote recycling, with the goal of directly replacing the workers. The name of the company is a bit wrong. The robot does not look all agile to me. If anything, it's the opposite. It looks very down to earth, almost like a home appliance. But it can take 17 kilograms of cargo from one place to another, pick up a box from a shelf or a truck, and possibly even operate simple tools. What's more important, it's cheap, and the company plans to build Robofab, a 70 square foot robot manufacturing facility to crank out 10,000 bots a year. So I'm guessing they won't stop at tool recycling. If you did not notice, our planet is not doing that well recently. Maybe robots can help us solve the climate change problem. If they decide to go full Skynet on us, they will. But that's too drastic. Can robots help us to fix some of our environmental sins? It's a comforting thought and perhaps not completely wrong. Again, there are a few strong contenders in this category. Mostly agricultural robots that can help us use less chemicals and then there are these cute environmental monitoring robots. None of these can help us solve real problems though. So I give the award to Sea Clear, which exploits autonomous robots for underwater litter collection. The main difference from other already existing systems like Waste Shark and a controversial ocean cleanup interceptor is that Sea Clear uses not one, not two, but four robots, a boat, a quadcopter, an underwater mapper, and underwater cleaner to clean ocean floor where they claim 94% of waste is located. The project is under active development and time will tell how effective 
it will be. And just like Time Journal did in 2006, the last category is you. Yes, dear sir. Or more precisely, some of you who made robots themselves and put them out there for us to tinker with, make and break. Instead of awarding one spot to one project here, I want to list a few that I thought were really the most impressive. An Alexa animatronic robot from Georgia, which is not only intricate, it has that kind of storytelling that I aspire to have on my channel one day. Another one is a fully 3D printed tank and a really impressive robotic dog built from complete scratch, including the actuators. Quite a few of these advanced robots use reinforcement learning to move around. Learn how you can do this too in two videos. First one about Robotic Dog Beetle and second one about Boston Dynamics Atlas.